Hi, this is Ken once again. Welcome to Prayer Line. Precious one, I want you to know that today is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I just want to share with you a testimony about giving and receiving. The Bible says that it is much more blessed to give than to receive. It is much more blessed than to give to give than to receive and Paul said to one time that because a church had blessed him God was going to supply all their needs according to his riches in glory there is power in giving today I just want to encourage you to find a need in somebody's life even though you own, you have your own need and your own want but just with the little that you have, find a way of blessing somebody. You remember the widow who had a little flour and an oil to eat with the sun and die. They first gave to Elijah, the, the servant of God, and it brought about multiplication. Abraham saw three men. He blessed them by giving them food. And before they left, they said, no, next year by now, your wife, Sarah, will conceive. There is so much power when you give. This is my testimony. I think last week, Friday, you know, usually when I'm leading prayers at my church, it was during the time of fasting. I told them that during the time of fasting, if you want to see the glory of God, according to Isaiah, it is the time you have to also give. So I admonished people to be giving during that time then i went to a gas station to fill my car and i saw this lady old lady going to other people filling their gases begging for money and i felt in my spirit to bless that lady and so she didn't even come to me but i went to her and i just looked into my wallet and i saw a couple of dollars and i was about as usual to just take a dollar and just give it to her but then i had already told people on thursday prayer meeting that hey don't be giving dollars uh one dollar during the time of your fasting go beyond the dollar bless them take some money and give to them so i said you know what i'm not even going to count the amount of money i had i, would, I just took everything and i just gave it to this lady that was the thing and then Sunday, somebody just walks to me and bless me with a huge sum of money and say, you know what? God has been placing upon my heart to bless you also. And I knew when I was coming, God reminded me, you remember, you blessed this old lady. And so I also create an avenue for you also to be what? Blessed. I gave the little that I had. And God in return also multiplied. I was having a need in my life then. There was this thing I wanted to get for my son. And I told the Lord, Lord, you have to make a way so that I can get this thing for my son. And lo and behold, Sunday, somebody walked just to me and blessed me with a huge sum of money. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even equate it with the amount of money I gave to the, widow, uh, the old lady. At the gas station I just gave everything I had that during that time very small fraction of my money to her but God in turn blessed me beyond measure there is power in giving I know we are going through economic crisis I know people are having problems but even in the midst of your need in the midst of your need find somebody you can touch and do them good and God, in return, will remember you and also change your financial situation. Find somebody. It could be a neighbor. It could be a friend. It could be a co-worker. It could be you know, a loved one. Somebody close to you. If you are sensitive, God will lead you to them. It may not be a big sum of money, but something small that you have. There's somebody who is going through worse situation than you. You are in a better position to make a difference with your giving. In their life and I don't want to be specific about the amount let the Holy Spirit lead you let the Holy Spirit lead you and touch them 
And as you are doing it, the Lord God will remember you this week and also open a great door for you, just as he did for me. This is what I want to share with you. God bless you. Stay blessed.